Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at Sony's new Tablet S. In this episode, we're going to talk about setting it up and using your Tablet S. Now, the Tablet S uses a Sony-fied version of the Android Honeycomb operating system. To get started, we're going to press the power button to fire it up. First thing you'll see is a Sony logo. Fresh out of the box, you're going to be asked to select a language. Once you've done that, it'll give you an option to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Select Next, and it'll scan. Choose your network from the list of Wi-Fi networks it finds, and then enter your password. You'll notice here that the Tablet S has a fairly extensive on-screen keyboard, including an on-screen number pad. Once you've selected your network and entered your password, hit Connect to connect to your network, and then hit Next. Next, you can set your date and time. If it's not correct, you can hit Adjust to change it, and then hit Next. In the next step, you'll be asked if you want to use Google's location service to approximate your location without using the built-in GPS. Now, if you're concerned with your privacy, you can leave these unchecked. But if you do want to turn it on, check the appropriate items here, and then hit Next. You'll be able to enter your Google account information on the next screen, which will enable your Google Docs, Gmail, your contacts, your marketplace, and anything else that uses your Google ID. Enter your username and your password, and then it'll sign you in and start to sync your data. Then tap Done followed by Next. After that, click Finish to start using the tablet. The interface is going to look very familiar to people that are already familiar with Android, although it will have a few tweaks for Honeycomb if you're not familiar with Honeycomb yet. You can swipe your finger sideways back and forth to change screens. At the top left of the screen, you have a few one-touch app links, including Google Search for both your tablet and the web, the voice recorder, the web, mail, remote control, which we'll talk about later, and the Sony e-reader. On the top right, there are quick links to your favorites, your apps, and there's an icon to add apps to your screens. At the bottom left are navigation buttons, which are soft buttons on the Sony Tablet S rather than hardware buttons. There's back, there's home, and there's a button that shows the open apps. Lastly, on the bottom right, you have a bunch of information, including the date, Wi-Fi information, battery information, and information on any updates available to your apps at the Android market. Now, when you're using the Tablet S for everyday use, you'll notice that it functions just like any other Android tablet or Android phone for that matter. But you can use it for a few Sony-specific tasks, like Universal Remote, eBook Reader, or PlayStation Certified Device. We're going to talk more about these in upcoming episodes of the series. You can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at Butterscotch.com.